Let's recreate this title effect using CapCut for desktop. If we look closely at it, it is a black screen with a transparent text scaling down to fit the screen. So in CapCut, I have already created a new project and imported a clip which will play through the text. Let's drop it to the timeline. I will change the aspect ratio of the clip to vertical by pressing the ratio button in the player and then select 9 by 16. To make the video fit, I can increase the size so that the whole canvas is covered. Let me quickly scroll through the clip to make sure our subject, running person, will stay on screen. If needed, we can adjust the position. However, in this case, all looks good. We have the base clip ready. Time to make the transparent text. I will start by adding a black background as an overlay from the media library. Once it is on the timeline, I will increase its duration and increase the size of it so that it completely covers the clip below. From the text section, I will add a text on top and make sure it has the same duration. Let's use 1917 as text and increase the font size. For the font type, I think the Oswald font looks good. Before moving on, let me increase the font size so it fits nicely on the screen. Awesome! As I want the text to be transparent, I'm going to give it a green color, so that we can easily chroma key it. But you can use any bright color you like. Time for some animation. Just like in the trailer, the text will slowly come into the screen, so the starting position will be the number one covering the screen. Because the scale slider stops at 500%, we need to manually enter larger values. Let's scale up and reposition until the screen is completely covered by the green of the letter 1. This will be our starting scale and position. Let's make sure we add keyframes for the scale and position. After moving the time pointer to where we want the animation to stop, let's restore the scale and the position. Perfect, and here is a quick preview of the effect. As you might notice, the number one is not zooming out in a centered way, so let's add some keyframes in between to fix that. Excellent, that looks great. Let's trim the black and the text layer. Now comes the trick to make it work. We can select these two layers by dragging with the mouse over them, and then with a right click we can select Create Compound Clip. The two layers we selected will now be merged into a single layer and act as a regular video layer. First thing I'm going to do is to move it to the right so the effect kicks in a bit later. To make the green transparent we can go to the cutout and turn on the chroma key. This will allow us to select a color which will be the green used in the text. When we maximize the strength and the shadow sliders the text will now be completely transparent. Let's preview the clip. Also we have created the 1917 effect. There might be some small improvements we can apply to finish the clip. For example, our subject gets invisible when the text comes into play. So I can add some keyframes for scale and position so that the running person stays in the center of letter 1. The clip is also a bit dark, but with the help of the adjustment tab we can increase the brightness. To add a speed ramp to the beginning, I will split it at the point where the text animation starts and on the starting clip I can add a speed curve from the speed section. I'm going to select the curves tab and use the flash in curve. Because this shortened the starting clip I will need to make sure that the text animation position is also corrected. To finish up the final result I can add a fade in animation on the first clip and add a white clip at the end with a transition so the text becomes nice and white when the effect finishes. Here is the end result. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video.